Okay, today we are going to draw and paint with watercolors. Here are the watercolors. We're going to draw and paint a ice cream cone. Isn't that going to be fun? Okay, so starting out, we got to figure out how many scoops do we want? Let's see, one, two, three. So if we're going to do three scoops, we need the cone to, to be down here. This is how you can use your fingers to kind of figure out where you want to get started with your picture. So we're going to do a cone that goes across here, comes down. There's a good old cone. And then we're going to do ice cream. Um, well, so you're going to figure out how tall it is. And then we're going to come down here, and it's going to kind of go over. You know how it kind of melts? They kind of melt over the edge of your cone. So then the next one is going to be a little bit smaller. So it's not going to come all the way out to here. We're going to go up like that. Now, I'm using pencil because we're going to go back and trace over with marker. And then um, erase the pencils pencil line. So we want to go over like this also so it looks like the cone, like the ice cream is sitting on top of this ice cream. So then we're going to go do a third one. Basically the same way. You go up and around and then we want to make sure that it's overlapping so then you can see that there's kind of dripping on top of each other. And then let's add a cherry on top. So a good way to do a cherry is kind of like a heart. It's going to round up down the bottom, but it kind of has this area right here that that's, um, makes it look like a heart. And then we want to put a stem on it. And the stems are pretty long, and they have like a little end on them. And you have a cherry on top. Now once we get it, we're going to ink it in with our marker. Then we're going to erase the pencil lines, and then we're going to paint it. And, after, and when we paint it, um, we can go back with either color pencil or markers and decorate it if you want. So we're going to start here with the top layer, this up here, the top, um, and draw it first. And then we'll draw everything going down. So the cherry, since it's on top, the top, the actual top thing, the top item on our... Um, on our ice cream, that's the first thing we're going to draw. Then we're going to come down here to the next one. We're not going to go, we're not going to do this line because it's behind this cherry. So there you go. And then we're going to do these lines. And then we're now at this, we're going to not create this line. We're going to start here and draw down because this is the next one on. This is the next scoop, you know, and sometimes you have, they're, they're not really, sometimes the scoops can be um, not super smooth. Okay, and then we're going to start here and go down and create this other, the three flavors that we've decided to have on our, on our ice cream cone. And then we're going to start over here, and I think this ice cream cone is too small for these three scoops, which is kind of fun, actually. Uh, but I'm going to make it a tad larger, okay, like that. Now, this is going to be a waffle cone. So in order to do a waffle cone, it's got to have um, a texture on it. So instead of using a fat marker, I'm actually going to go in with a thinner marker because we're going to paint it. But I want to show you how to do the, the texture on it. So we're going to draw some horizontal, I mean some, um, we're going to draw some um, lines that create this texture for our waffle cone. So these are diagonal lines that we're going to pull down. Now remember, if I'm going too fast, you can always stop the video, that's what's great about the video, and catch up. But we're going to draw these diagonal lines in our cone. So we have an ice cream cone that has a, it's a waffle cone. Okay, we're going to go back 
And it doesn't really matter where we start. I'm just going to start over here like I started before. And we're going to pull it down. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be exact. We're just, they're the opposite to create that waffle cone look. See what we're doing? All right. So there's our waffle cone. There's three scoops and a cherry on top. So now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to erase all of these pencil lines. And then remember, you got to get all those little crummies off. You got to make sure they're all off of your page. And then we're going to go in and paint this guy, okay? All right, so. I don't know where to start. Oh my gosh, we gotta figure out what flavors do you want your ice cream cone to be? I don't even know. I love chocolate, so I think the largest scoop for me is gonna be chocolate. So we need a brown, a chocolate brown. Actually, if you just use the, I'm using Prang watercolors. I don't know if you've ever heard of Prang, but most, you know, watercolor has a brown in it, and I'm just going to take that brown, and that's just straight up brown for my chocolate ice cream. Now, if you have Crayolas, you can use Crayolas. If you have, um, markers. You can be coloring it in with markers. I just happen to have paint out today and I'm doing it in paint. So I think the next one I want it to be is strawberry. So I'm going to go in and in order to get pink, you have red paint and then you add water to it and it becomes pink when it dries. So that's what I'm using right here. I'm dipping my brush back into the water to make it thinner so it looks pink. Because a lot of them don't have pink. So, there's our pink. And now, what am I going to do for the top? Oh, no, I don't know. What other flavor do I like? I, I, we were just, we went to this place that had Italian uh, food not too long ago. And the Italian food, when, when it was all done, we got ice cream and we got pistachio ice cream. So I'm going to put green at the top for pistachio ice cream. I don't know if you like pistachio or not. So this could be lime. You could choose orange sherbet if you want. I mean, you could use whatever flavor that you want for your top ice of the ice cream cone. Now, the cherry on top. For the cherry on top, remember, the cherry's going to be darker than the pink that we just created. So we're going to do a rich, bright color of red for our cherry, just like that. And the stem will probably have a little brown. Just a little brown right there for the stem. Okay, so now we need to do the cone. 
The cone is going to be a little different. It's not really chocolate brown. Most, this is chocolate brown. So most, most of them are not chocolate brown. So what I'm going to do, I've rinsed my brush. I got to rinse your brush really, really well. You want to get a whole bunch of yellow and get a clean place on your palette, which I had a little area here that had a little brown and a little yellow. You're going to mix the yellow and the brown together to create the cone color. The cone color is, is a lot of yellow and a tiny, tiny bit of brown. You don't want very much brown or it ends up being a lot darker than what a cone might look like. So, you know, a, a waffle cone, it has a lot more yellow in it than the chocolate ice cream. So we're going to mix those two colors together, more yellow than brown, to create this cone color. So now the next step is that we want to put a little bit of texture into the cone itself because right now it's just a flat color with black stripes. So we're going to go back into our yellow and create a little more of this color and we're going to go into the brown and add more color. Now what we're going to do different is we are going to add a little more brown than we did before and you have to be really careful with this, but you're going to add a tiny bit of purple. So see, I had some purple right here, just a tiny bit of purple. What you're doing with that is the purple will help make a shadow. So that's what we're doing. Add a little bit of there. Now we're going to go in with this color. I don't know if it's really dark enough. Yeah, there you go. And we're going to add a shadow underneath underneath here and then we're going to add texture to the stripes so when we add texture if this there if we're going to do this line right here you're going to do below the black line we're going to just do a little stripe and it may be easier to do these straight lines if you don't use your wrist you use your whole arm to create these stripes whole arm to create these stripes just like that and it'll help you keep a straighter line. So even I'm not straight every time. So there you go. We're going to go down and on the bottom side of that black line, we're going to add these little brown, darker brown stripes to create texture for this waffle cone. So now we're going to do the same thing over here. Something that helps me is to turn my paper. So I'm going to turn my paper so when I'm doing my stripes, it's easier to do the stripes. Just like that. I have to pick up some more paint. I'm running out of paint. Alright, so then what we're going to do is take that same color and I'm going to go in and get more purple. And I'm see I'm adding more purple to this just to make it more, make more of a shadow, a little darker color. The purple also makes it um, cool. So when the sun hits something, it's hot. But underneath whatever it hits, it's cooler. And, and Purple is a cool color, and it helps things recede, which is pretty, pretty <laughs> I guess that's a little technical. Anyway, so then we're going to take those colors, and we're going to go underneath where the chocolate is, and I think I need more purple in this one. 
than what I have. Yeah, it needs more purple. And then I'm also going to go very lightly down the side just so it gives it some, some make it look more round. To make it look a little more round down the side here. Like that. So the next thing I'm going to do is go in here and I'm going to add purple. Oh, I added a little more purple and um, the chocolate brown. I kind of mix those together. I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. I got the purple and the chocolate brown to make a darker color. And then I'm going to go and give a little bit of shadow around the bottom of my chocolate ice cream, kind of like I did before, just to help it out a little. Like that. So I want to do the same thing for this, for the red. So I'm going to rinse my, my, uh, I went in and I rinsed out, I don't know if you're seeing this, but I went in and rinsed out my brush and I'm kind of trying to clean this up a little. Then I'm going to get some paper towel and go in and how to clean up my palette enough where I can mix the color that I want. So I clean my brush, I put some water there. I, um, I want to get some red and put, ooh, that's a lot of red. <laughs> that was a lot of red. And then I want to add some purple to it. So I went over here and get some purple, throw some purple in here. So then I can put a little bit of a trim around this one. It may, I don't know what's going to happen if it's going to be too purpley, just to kind of show the bottom part of my, then I rinse my brush just a little. You're going to dab it on a piece of paper towel and then go back over it like that. And now you have, you have more depth. Now, okay. Then the next thing is to get green. We got green right here. And I'm gonna add a little tiny bit of purple because remember purple will darken it down. Ooh, that looked really gray. And we're gonna put a little bit in here just to kind of put in, show a little bit of. And then we're gonna do say, same thing with the red for the cherry. So what I'm going to do with the cherry is I'm going to do, I already have red here, but I think it needs to be a little darker. So um, if, I don't know how to make it, I need to make it a little darker. I'm going in and making it a tad darker with a different red and then put it down here. And that didn't work as well as I wanted it to. Okay, there you go. And there you go. There's your ice cream cone and painted in watercolor.